All right, people, welcome back to the Basketball Society podcast. I would really appreciate it if you go down and click subscribe and stay tuned with the channel for more videos, breakdowns, and even more episodes on the podcast. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Any player who's worked with me knows how I feel about this subject. And this is really for guards. This is mainly for guards. I'm a guard, so I'm I'm a little biased. I, I love bigs, but I, I obviously tend to be biased towards guards. So th- this, this philosophy, this skill set, this nuance is really for guards. I can't believe the amount of guards that do not possess the ability to shoot a pull-up jump shot. Let it ride! When I say a pull-up jump shot, I am specifically talking about the footwork when it comes to a one-two pull-up jump shot. If I'm dribbling with my right hand and I shoot a one-two pull-up, my footwork is left right. If I'm dribbling with my left hand and I shoot a one-two pull-up, my footwork is right left. The best scorers of today, Devin Booker, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, they all have a pull-up jump shot. My two favorite players of all time are Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. These are the two players I have watched and studied the most. Both of these players were meticulous about one, two pull-up jump shots. The more film I watched, yeah, both of them, especially in their athletic primes, got creative with how they scored the basketball. They both got to the rim and did finished at the rim in, in crazy ways. Both of them got to a point where, you know, heavy post work, mid post, back to the basket, fadeaways. They got creative with that stuff, too. But when I looked at the shot creation of it, it was the one two pull up. Now, in my college workouts, workouts that my coach would, you know, would give us as guards. So many things were pull up jump shots. And it was like the more I did, the more I practiced this one two, this left, right and this right, left. First of all, I was motivated to do it because my two favorite players I saw made a killing off of those shots. So players that I was a fan of and watched a lot, I saw them using this a lot. So that was motivation enough to work on this. But then as I started working on it more and repping it more, it was like, yo, this is an unguardable move. If I really master this for myself, I can get this shot off whenever I want. Great. You hear commentators and you hear people use the term stop on the dime. Someone comment below, stop on the dime. You might recognize it because of how it looks when Kyrie Irving blows by, puts his head down, two dribbles into the paint, and then just rises up for that pull up. You you may think you see why it's called stopping on the dime when you see that happen. But most of the time, it's it happens and it's possible to stop on the dime because of the footwork. Everything starts with the feet. When KD goes to his pull up jump shot, his one two pull up, you hear the commentator say something to the effect of oh, like you book it. He hits that every time. It's because he can stop. He uses that footwork, that one two to actually stop on the dime and rise up. When you rep out your one two pull up enough. When you master it for yourself, the footwork, the timing, the cadence, and the pace, going to the middle, to your right going baseline, to your left going baseline, to your left going to the middle, one dribble or two dribble, working on picking up your feet and the timing of the one, two and rising up. Not only does your footwork just get cleaner, not only does that move and that shot become available to you, somehow what happens is because your footwork gets sharper in that move, your footwork becomes more creative and starts to expand in other ways. Whoa, that's awesome. When you get the fundamentals and the basics down, the more advanced creative things start to open up to you. They start to become a little easier, a little more obvious. You just start to get ideas about counters and ways you can flip it and change it. Go watch Kyrie film. Watch how he, yeah, he, he'll, you know, might break you down with the dribble off the dribble. We know he's got the handle, but when it comes to creating that shot, getting the shot off, he's got different ways to do it. Yes, but watch how, how often him, KD, watch how often these guys put their head down, ride your hip, attack your hip, two dribbles into the paint, bop, bop. That right there, you could work on that for an hour, for three weeks, every day, and feel way sharper as a basketball player. 
if you're if you want to be a great shot creator, the pull up jump shot is the most important aspect of your skill set that you should work on. That is my basketball philosophy. Thank you for watching this episode of the Basketball Society Podcast. I appreciate everybody's support who taps into this show. For more basketball content, interviews, breakdowns, and episodes of the podcast, subscribe to the channel and stay tapped in.